Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to share with you all a free, effective and scientifically proven way to actually boost human growth hormone production levels naturally within the body anywhere up to 2000% in men in anywhere up to around 1300% in females. And I haven't made a video on this before, but I made it just around two years ago and I was not as knowledgeable on this subject and as experienced with it as well. So this is gonna be the newest updated version of this video and it's going to be way better than the original video I've made. So if you have seen that before and you're thinking about not watching this video, I highly recommend you do because there's going to be a lot of things that I mentioned in this one as I just mentioned a moment ago that I did not mention in the first video. So you may be wondering what is it that can boost human growth hormone production levels up to the amounts that I've just mentioned naturally without the use of any synthetic exogenous forms of human growth hormone which costs thousands of dollars a month and has a whole host of short-term and long-term unwanted negative side effects and the simple answer to that is it is fasting and if you haven't heard of fasting it is where you abstain from food and normally only consume water and the scientific study that I am gonna read a bit about to you in this video. They actually found to get the human growth hormone levels to go as high as I'd mentioned, you have to do a 24 hour water fast. So for obvious reasons, you're not necessarily gonna do this every single day. You might do this once a week or once every month, but the more frequent that you can do it, the greater benefits you're gonna get from the human growth hormone releasing benefits that are induced from fasting. Because obviously if you only do this once a month, you're only gonna get up to 2,000% increase within males with human growth hormone production and with females around 1,300% once a month. So I would recommend for most people to do this once every single week if possible. And you should also ideally be doing daily intermittent fasting, which I've been doing for over two years now. I used to do what was known as one meal a day, where you fast around 23 hours a day and fast for around, well, eat, should I say, for around a one hour a window. And it has been shown through scientific research, shorter fasts do give you a significant increase in human growth hormone production, but 24 hour fasts give you the greatest hormone induced effects within your body. So by doing, Daily intermittent fasting, preferably alongside a 24 hour fast, preferably weekly, or you could do it every two weeks or three weeks or a month. That's gonna give you the greatest benefits with human growth hormone reduction because even if you're not doing one meal a day and you're doing what a lot of people call the 16-8 intermittent fasting method, and if you don't know about that, I talk about how you can do that completely in the most safe and effective way. I put a video for that up above. I highly recommend you go and check that out if you're not knowledgeable on that. And this type of intermittent fasting appeals to most people because you can eat within an eight hour window. So you can eat as many times as you want, whatever food that you want, and you'll still get the increase in human growth hormone production. But like I said, the longer you fast, the greater the increase will be in human growth hormone production. So it's all about thinking how much do you want to increase it within your body and how consistently, and you can mix it all up with the intermittent fasting and the things that I've mentioned all around fasting. So you can get the greatest increase in human growth hormone production every single day. And that is what I personally do. And like I said, I did one meal a day in the past for around seven months. Now I fast anywhere from around 16 to 20 hours a day and eat for around a four to eight hour window. And I find that that just works absolutely fine for me. And I, I want to share this with you because it's something that a lot of people need to hear and if you want to see what I look like before I started doing this as you can see I looked very skinny weak and frail and then over time with also doing some training as well consistently and getting that massive increase in human growth hormone reduction I got to this physique so as you can see the difference between the two is absolutely 
massive. So as you can see, when I look very skinny, weak and frail, yeah, I've got quite low body fat percentage, but I was skinny fat. And then once I started doing intermittent fasting, which I wanted to find the best natural way to maximize human growth hormone reduction in the most effective way to build up muscle mass, that I've got very good muscle mass in this. I'm very lean and ripped and shredded, if you want to call it that. Some people call it different things. So I've got low body fat with a decent amount of muscle mass. And this was all done naturally. And intermittent fasting was one of the number one key things for me to go to this bigger physique where you see I have a lot of muscle. And this is the main reason why a lot of people want to boost human growth hormone production because it does increase muscle mass. It preserves muscle mass, but it also optimizes mood and well-being. So if you're someone that suffers from mental health issues, sort of such as depression, it can help you resolve that. It is a very well-known anti-aging hormone. It's produced in abundance when we are way younger, but as you get older, it normally declines due to many different reasons that I'm not gonna explain in this video. And it also increases your energy output so you can have more energy throughout the day and it's been shown to make you be able to train way harder when training in the gym if you are going to be working out the gym or if you're doing running or whatever type of exercise that you're into it burns adipose tissue which is body fat which so many people have excess body fat it boosts your immune system increases your bone density and it has a whole host of other amazing physical and mental health benefits as well. So this is why it's appealing, especially to a lot of older men that run into issues with bone density issues or have excess body fat or they find it hard to put on muscle mass and may have depression or other certain issues going on that are linked to low levels of human growth hormone production. So fasting can help you go in the direction of optimizing human growth hormone production absolutely in a very effective way that is proven through science. And now I'm gonna read out a bit from an article on the scientific study. So actually back up the claims I'm making because there's so many people out there that make up so many claims and a lot of time it's just complete misinformation and lies. So I want you to actually be able to feel that you can believe me and trust me with what I'm sharing with you. So this article, which I'll link down below, is on a website called eurekaalert.org and the title of this article is study finds routine periodic fasting is good for your health and heart. So in this, I'm only gonna talk about the benefits that they found with this scientific study that they did with human growth hormone production. But they also talk about how it's also really good for improving your overall health, your heart health, your blood cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of things such as heart disease, reduces blood sugar levels, insulin, and a whole host of other amazing benefits as well. So you're not just getting a massive increase in human growth hormone production, you're also getting all of those other benefits and way more than I have just explained to you, which you can find out about in this article if you wanted to look into the other benefits as well. So the study was done by Inter Mounting Medical Center, and it says this study also confirmed early findings about the effects of fasting on human growth hormone production within the body. Human growth hormone works to protect lean muscle and metabolic balance, a response triggered and accelerated by fasting. During the 24 hour fasting period, human growth hormone increased an average of 1,300% in women and around a 2,000% increase in men. So as you can see, that is absolutely amazing findings. And it goes on to say in the most recent trial, researchers conducted two fasting studies of over 200 individuals, both patients and healthy volunteers who were recruited at the Inter Mountain Medical Center. And a second 2011 clinical study followed another 30 patients who drank only water and ate nothing for 24 hours. They were also monitored while eating a normal diet during an additional 24 hour period. Blood tests and physical measurements were taken from all to evaluate cardiac risk, markers of metabolic risk, and other general health parameters. So I just wanted to mention a bit of the information that some people may want to hear about what they actually did with study to get the benefits. So literally, this is the answer to anyone that has issues with human growth hormone production being low within the body because it's completely free. You have access to it at any point. Yes, you need some self-discipline around it, 
but if I can do it, you could do it too. And for some people, when they're new to fasting, it can be better to fast for shorter periods of time, but as you get used to it over time, you can do a longer fast so you can get the greatest benefits of human growth hormone production within your body. And I can tell you now, my dad is about 50 years old now, and he's really into fasting, and he's done a lot of single day fast, two day fast, and other different types of fast very safely and effectively in the comfort of his home home. So you don't need to go down the medical route of taking any of these synthetic exogenous hormones that cost so much money and have a whole host of negative effects. And if you want to do some more research into this online, there's many different scientific studies out there that have found different results with fasting and human growth hormone production. And it's also been shown to massively increase testosterone production within the body, lower insulin, improve insulin sensitivity, and do a whole host of other amazing benefits that can help. A lot of people have the best health holistically, the body composition, energy levels, neurotransmitter production, mental health, and hormone production as well. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions on anything that I've shared with you today in relation in to this specific topic with human growth hormone production and fasting, increasing it massively, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about what I've shared with you today in this video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis on specific topics such as fasting, also videos on how to optimize testosterone and human growth hormone production within the body, weight loss videos, calisthenics and calisthenics workout and progression videos, what I eat, and do in a day videos and many other different videos to share with you so much valuable, effective, proven information into your lifestyle so you can gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if this type of video sounds good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, Stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.